So, welcome to a Messi Pupin online course on uh, fluidization engineering. So, today's lecture will be on uh, solid segregation uh, based on gas uh, solid fluidized bed and uh, I think we have uh, uh, discussed about the uh, solid mixing uh, and also uh, solid movement uh, in the gas solid fluidized bed uh, and that uh, mixing uh, I think uh, uh, we have seen that there will be the solid circulation inside the bed uh, and uh, because of that uh, circulation cell formation there will be the uh, uh, actually mixing of the solids vertically and uh, uh, horizontally. And uh, uh, not only that uh, by in, uh, circulation cells uh, there is other mechanism like uh, the bubbles will entrain the solid particles and then uh, drag downwards some solid particles and uh, the solid particles uh, moving from the emulsion phase to the wake region and then uh, some solids also uh, coming down from the wake region. In that case uh, 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 there are some other mechanism also. Uh, is responsible for this uh, solid uh, uh, mixing. Now, in this lecture, we will be uh, discussed about that uh, due to that uh, 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 mixer of the solid particles uh, may be uh, with different sizes or the same size even in uh, different densities or the same densities. Uh, and during the mixing, there will be the segregation of the solid particles uh, of different sizes there. And uh, uh, let us see here what should be the uh, fact uh, actually when that uh, solid segregation is happened inside the band, uh, uh, bed and also how it can be uh, represented uh, 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 mathematically uh, 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 this phenomena uh, inside the gas solid fluidized bed. So, what we learn in this lecture that uh, segregation of the particles uh, how it happens and the larger solids in the beds of uh, smaller particles if it is there then how that segregation will happen even uh, uh, if is there any staging of fluidized bed then uh, how uh, this segregation can be actually uh, uh, understand on that uh, uh, basis. And uh, if there is uh, I think uh, different sizes particles and different type of particles uh, in a mixer then what should be the minimum fluidization for uh, binary and multi component uh, uh, fluidization condition. In uh, earlier we have learned only the uh, single type of particle and the same size of particles what should be the minimum uh, fluidization uh, velocity. Uh, they are in the fluidized bed, but in this lecture we will also learn about that uh, some extent of that uh, minimum fluidization velocity uh, based on binary and multi component mixer in the fluidized bed. Now, what is that uh, segregation of particles you will see that various uh, uh, process uh, of course, is required uh, of uh, fluidizing uh, a mixer of solids uh, of very different of uh, particles uh, density. So, in that case uh, you will see that uh, uh, there will be a uh, some reactions parallelly and because of which some uh, segregation will be happened in such way that uh, uh, conversion of some materials uh, uh, in the bed uh, and uh, uh, whether the bed is vigorous or, uh, or, or, or uh, that is uh, particulate uh, then uh, uh, what should be that. Uh, uh, the velocity of the fluidized bed so that that segregation will not be that much, but the conversion will be optimum. And also uh, in that case you will see that in the production of titanium as an example or zirconium a mixture of the metal oxide uh, uh, that is uh, its density is very high and uh, coke uh, where its density is very low. So, in that case if it is fluidized by chlorine gas uh, at high temperature and there will be a some segregation of the particles uh, mechanism will happen or phenomena will happen inside the bed. And to achieve uh, close to 100 percent conversion of uh, chlorine uh, bed bubbling should not be too vigorous uh, hence the gas velocity should not be too high. So, on the other hand you will see that gas velocity should not be uh, also too low. Uh, uh, so, that the solids uh, will segregate uh, out there and, uh, uh, and uh, what size ratio of the solids uh, 
and the what gas velocity should be uh, actually uh, uh, utilized to uh, uh, such uh, uh, such uh, I think uh, uh, situations uh, that we have to know. And the whole questions of the mixing segregation equilibrium is of uh, uh, important uh, uh, criteria uh, in this situations. Now, what should be that mixing segregation equilibrium? So, main one important aspect of that whenever you are judging or you are uh, analyzing the uh, mixing or segregation some equilibrium condition to be known by which you will be able to know what should be the uh, 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 extent of that uh, segregation or mixing inside the bed. Now, particle segregation occurs at close to minimum fluidization velocity of the biggest or uh, you can say heaviest particle in the bed. So, either it by uh, size or by the density of the particles and the segregation pattern or the particle distribution profile in the bed is uh, uh, set up by the dynamic uh, equilibrium between the two of uh, uh, two competing mechanism of solids mixing and particle segregation in the bed. And also it is very important that you have to some extent uh, prevent that segregation because of uh, getting that optimum conversion in the uh, bed. So, particle segregation can usually be prevented by uh, operating a fluidized bed at a uh, sufficiently high fluidization velocity. So, in that case you have to know the what should be the minimum fluidization velocity if you are uh, having the mixer of different type of particles that is binary or multi component mixers there. And then you have to uh, operate the fluidized bed beyond that minimum fluidization velocity at a certain condition. So, that that you can uh, uh, you can be able to or uh, uh, you can be designed, uh, you will be able to design or you it can be uh, designed in such way that segregation of the particles will be minimum there. And two important terms are very useful to interpret this uh, segregation. One term is called Z sum, another is called float sum. Now, Z sum actually the component that ultimately sinks that is called Z sum, that means the particles will come downward and it will be settled. And float sum is nothing but the component of that materials those will be floats to the top of the bed. So, these two terms will be uh, very important uh, to analyze the uh, segregation of, uh, criteria there. Before going to that we have to know what should be that actually mechanism of that segregation. Generally, uh, three uh, different mechanisms uh, are found uh, uh, to be important in the uh, uh, relative movement of particles in the uh, bed that is uh, actually reported by uh, Rao et al. 1972. Now, lifting of particles in the wake that we have seen that earlier, there will be a drift action of the uh, 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 drift action of the uh, emulsion to lift that. Uh, solid particles to the wake uh, and in there it is seen that that lifting of particles in the wake of a uh, rising gas bubbles. So, in that case uh, one this is one important mechanism of this particle segregation. So, by this mechanism the only way the flotsam can be transported to the upper part of the bed. So, this uh, particles those uh, density is uh, very less and also the particle size is a uh, small then only uh, those particles will be lifting uh, in the wake when bubbles will be rising there. Now, another mechanism is called migration down to the bottom of the bed. What does it mean that you see that larger and the denser particles because of their uh, high turbulent uh, terminal velocity they will usually uh, descend by falling through the bubbles. And also uh, interparticle uh, percolating is one important mechanism by which that you will be able to uh, understand that the whether the smaller or denser particles uh, that will percolate downward um, uh, inter uh, uh, that is called interst interstitially or not. Now, this uh, average that is descending distance of uh, that uh, 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 aggregate uh, 
uh, of that uh, what is that segregation actually that is uh, proportional to the bubble diameter and the distance from the bubble uh, center that is uh, stated by uh, what is that uh, the uh, uh, Tanimoto uh, et al. Uh, 1980. Some observations uh, given by different investigators uh, young 2003 uh, uh, they have stated that uh, the with solids of the same size, but different density if uh, you are using in the fluidized bed then the bed segregates uh, readily. When this occurs the dense material uh, uh, forms a relatively uh, uh, pure bottom layer and the upper layer uh, always uh, contain some of the denser solids uh, and uh, it, this will be more or less uniformly uh, dispersed. And particles of uh, a different size, but uh, the same density will also segregate, uh, but that will not be uh, so easy. Uh, even uh, particles uh, uh, an order of magnitude that is different in diameter will mix uh, uh, fairly. Uh, uniformly at uh, uh, moderate bubbling conditions. Now, question is that if there is one wide size distribution of the particles are in the bed, whether uh, there will be a segregation uh, increased or not. No, there will be no uh, actually uh, segregation uh, uh, significantly because in that case the wider size distribution means there will be a mixture of either very small particles will be more amount or very large particles will be more amount. There will be a mixture in that case uh, size distribution will be more wider, the size range will be very low to the high. So, in that case you will see the segregation may not be uh, that uh, occurs in significantly. So, less segregation sometimes it is seen uh, uh, there in the bed and uh, this can be actually uh, rather than a sharp cut of two distinct sizes there may be obtained there. And when the gas velocity is close to minimum uh, fluidization velocity the segregation of the jet sum that means which are going downward uh, can be uh, uh, severe at higher gas velocity it is less uh, severe. In most of the cases uh, uh, the two component system the classification of this float sum and the jet sum is uh, clear. In some isolated cases it is seen that that whether the particular component will uh, behave uh, as a uh, float sum or jet sum that will have to determine experimentally. And this is especially true uh, when a bed of multi component mixer. Uh, with a wide size uh, and the uh, and the density distribution will be in the bed. And for two component binary systems uh, uh, Siva et al 1980 they have suggested uh, uh, some following uh, uh, rules here uh, uh, given like case 1, case 2, case 3 and case 4. So, in the case uh, 1 they have observed that if uh, the bubble size uh, bubble size to the solid size if it is less than 10 then you will see uh, for the uh, uh, equal density of this uh, that means uh, bed and solids uh, uh, you will see that z sum will be equals to bigger component where if the uh, uh, bed density that means bulk density if it is not that uh, what is that uh, uh, solid density then uh, z sum will be is equal to heavier component. And uh, in case 2 if suppose this uh, 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 this uh, bubble diameter is uh, greater than equal to uh, 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 solid diameter and bed material uh, tends to 100 uh, smaller component then at a different conditions like P b uh, that will be equal to rho b s and P b less than equal to rho b s these two uh, 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 remarks can be uh, uh, obtained inside the fluidized bed. Similarly, for case 3, case 4 uh, as per this table you just uh, see how this uh, jet sum and float sum uh, uh, phenomena occurs inside the bed. Now, in a flu gas fluidized bed of mixture of wide size and density distribution 
the separation between a float sum and z sum uh, will become uh, less clear uh, because in that case the uh, individual components uh, that will be distributed axially into an equilibrium distribution uh, uh, that will be governed primarily by hydrodynamics. So, for mixture of wide size and density distribution that uh, 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 distinction between that float sum and uh, 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 jet sum depends on the uh, different hydrodynamics characteristics. And uh, if suppose one particular component uh, uh, if in a if it is in a float sum with respect to some components in the bed then you will see that uh, simultaneously it is also a z sum relative to other components there. Thus, the distinct between uh, 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 a z sum or float sum uh, uh, is less important in a uh, multi component uh, system with density differences. The component uh, distribution at equilibrium is of then primary concern for uh, uh, analyze the uh, uh, segregation mechanism inside the fluidized bed. Now, what should be the segregation pattern in binary mixer? So, it is important to know that uh, how it will be segregated that uh, z sum and float sum uh, 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 particles there in the bed uh, whether this uh, how uh, the separation uh, uh, between this uh, bottom and top part of this uh, fluidized bed will be there. Now, if we represent that the fraction of that uh, z sum solid is x j and if we change that this uh, 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 mixer component of that uh, what is that uh, x j z sum component uh, to 0 to 1, it is seen that that for idealized segregation at low fluidization velocity there, uh, it will be uh, the pattern will be like this here uh, uh, in this case. What does it mean? that at the bottom you will see that uh, uh, for this uh, that is component uh, 1 uh, that means here x s j is equal to 1 uh, there you will see that uh, solid particles those who are uh, floating down that those who are downward. So, in that case maximum that here 100 percent of the solid particles will be uh, uh, going downward here in this uh, case whereas, this uh, uh, segregation uh, pattern will also will be uh, uh, decreasing uh, with that uh, uh, concentration of that uh, z sum solids, but at a certain uh, uh, at a certain concentration you will see there will be some constants of that uh, 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 concentration of that uh, z sum solids that uh, segregation will uh, uh, increase up to that top here. So, this is the uh, uh, segregation pattern here uh, from 0 to 1 to bottom to uh, top here of the fluidized bed and this dotted line will give you this uh, mean value in the bed. So, when these uh, well mixed solids are there with some concentration or that uh, volume fraction or you can say mass fraction of the solid fraction then this segregation pattern will be like this for idealized segregation case. Whereas, for pattern of segregation in bubbling condition you will see this uh, figure B as shown that how it will be look like it will not be exactly that what is that idealized condition. So, here this pattern uh, will become uh, 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 deviate from this idealized condition because of hydrodynamic behavior in the bubbling conditions there. So, in this case rising bubbles acts as a uh, uh, vehicle for particle segregation and uh, all the solids uh, both the float sam and z sam are carried up the bed in the bubble wax. However, only the larger denser uh, particles uh, uh, preferentially when it will move down uh, the bed as a bubble uh, it will passes by and uh, this outflow in the bubble wax uh, is the only way that the smaller dense uh, that means, uh, less dense particles can reach the top of the particles there uh, in the bubbling fluidization uh, condition. Now, here also it is seen uh, that uh, uh, Kuni and Levens field that uh, they have uh, uh, observed some phenomena of that uh, uh, mixing segregation equilibrium condition here for part uh, for uh, particular uh, condition uh, if that equilibrium for uh, float sum reach binary mixer and what will be the 
flow pattern and the equilibrium for z sum rich binary mixture what should be the uh, mixing segregation equilibrium uh, pattern there. So, uh, in, uh, in this figure uh, you will see that uh, in this figure the uh, practical states of equilibrium for float sum rich binary uh, um, uh, mixtures there. In this case uh, float sum how this uh, well segregated uh, condition this float sum behavior like this and for intermediate uh, uh, condition here uh, this uh, float sum uh, uh, risk binary mixer how uh, flow pattern for the segregation is giving. And then uh, here also for perfectly mixed uh, mixer how this segregation uh, pattern will give you. So, this will change uh, when increase the gas velocity from uh, this uh, lower to the higher value. Similarly, for this uh, here equilibrium uh, for z sum rich binary mixers how it will uh, become rich uh, uh, it will uh, reach to that uh, equilibrium condition here uh, by this uh, figure you can uh, uh, observe or you can uh, uh, understand how this uh, pattern will change uh, uh, when it will be well segregated and it will be uh, intermediate uh, segregated or well mixed segregated there. And in the figure the dotted line will give you that uh, uh, z sum uh, mass fraction of the solids uh, as a mean. And this change with bed height that is bottom to top here again and the z sum mass fractions to be uh, varies from 0 to 1 there. That means, here pure uh, binary mixer of that uh, uh, float sum and the z sum there uh, by 0 and 1 uh, uh, respectively. So, uh, in this figure uh, you can observe how this flow pattern is changing when gas velocity will change and, uh, and uh, for that intermediate case also how it will be there uh, 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 deviated from this well segregated and well mixed condition. Now, uh, to analyze the mixing and segregation in the fluidized bed two important parameter it is called that indexes. So, they are mixing indexes and the segregation mixing uh, indexes are two important uh, parameters which are defined there and based on which you will be able to actually analyze how and what extent of that mixing and segregation happens inside the bed. And Rao et al 1972 actually they have defined this uh, solid mixing indexes are uh, here m this m is equal to mass fraction of z sum in the um, top portion of the bed divided by the uh, z sum mass fraction in the perfect mixed bed here. This is defined by this x h j top and by uh, mean value of this x h j. Now, uh, in this case if m is equal to 0 what does it mean there will be a complete segregation and if m is equal to 1 then there will be a uh, complete mixing. So, this z sum fraction in the figure 2 is practically constant in a uh, larger portion of the bed using this value on approximation uh, uh, for m can be equal to this here in this uh, earlier that figure we have shown there. And there uh, uh, see here this m then it is very interesting that you have to uh, obtain this m value to actually analyze whether there will be the complete segregation or the complete mixing is there or not. To describe the degree of particle of, uh, separation in the bed, the segregation index uh, defined by Siba et al 1982 may be more convenient to uh, analyze this uh, uh, segregation mixing uh, behavior inside the bed. The segregation index for a binary mixer that is uh, S. Uh, is defined as that S will be equal to mass fraction of float sum in the top portion of the bed by float sum uh, mass fraction uh, in a perfect mixed bed. Here this is based on the float sum whereas, in the earlier uh, case mixing index is defined based on that z sum. So, here uh, uh, this uh, uh, segregation index uh, uh, defined by that uh, float sum. So, x s uh, f top by uh, uh, mean of this x s f uh, it will be there. So, if s is equal to 1 what does it mean that will be a perfect uh, mixing state whereas, s is equal to 1 by uh, mean of that uh, mass fraction of this float solid 
will uh, refer to the state of complete segregation there. And since uh, for the binary mixer you will see that x f uh, bar that will be equal to 1 minus x j bar that will mean of this float some solids that will be equal to 1 minus mean of the uh, uh, z some solid fraction. So, m and s what is the relationship that m will be equal to 1 minus s into x s f bar by 1 minus x s f bar. So, it will be equal to s plus uh, 1 minus s by x s uh, j bar. So, there are uh, you will see uh, you can then uh, similarly you can uh, uh, actually analyze by that segregation phenomena by this parameter s in the fluidized bed. And now, in now at all 1987 uh, they have actually developed one model uh, based on this mixing uh, index uh, they have correlated to the gas velocity with this mixing index like this here. So, they have correlated it as this uh, they have given this uh, correlation as m is equal to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus z where z is the parameter which is uh, depending on the uh, gas or fluid velocity inside the bed and this will be defined as that z will be equals to u minus u uh, t 0 uh, by u minus u m f f uh, into e to the power u by e t 0. So, in this case uh, terminal velocity at this uh, 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 that is uh, takeover velocity it is called that uh, takeover velocity u t 0 where this u t 0 will be obtained from this uh, correlations that is given by uh, near now uh, at all 1987. So, in this case very interesting that rho r is one parameter that is the uh, ratio of that density of that uh, z sum uh, um, um, uh, portion and density of that float sum portion of the uh, solids inside the bed. Whereas, d e r is uh, uh, another um, important parameter which is uh, uh, defined as that phi j z j uh, d j by phi f d f. What is this phi that is sphericity of that z sum particles and d j is called here the diameter of that solid particles which is uh, in the class of z sum whereas, uh, this f will represent that float sum of that particular uh, diameter of that float sum and the uh, phi f for sphericity for that float sum particle. And h star this is defined as that what is the in terms of ratio of the total height of that uh, 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 bed uh, uh, to the uh, bed uh, diameter there. So, a star should be equal to 1 minus uh, exponent of minus h by d bed. So, by this equation here as per this uh, Ninao uh, et al uh, uh, 1987 you will be able to calculate what should be the mix mixing index uh, when uh, the uh, fluidized bed is operated under a certain gas velocity there. Another important model that is given by U and uh, Bayens 1998, they have uh, developed their model with the excess gas flow rate that should be required to prevent that segregation in a fluidized bed with a wide size distribution. And uh, in that case, uh, they have calculated that mixing index uh, 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 from their actually uh, 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 bubble flow of phenomena. So, uh, they have correlated this uh, mixing index with that uh, uh, what is that bubble flow rate uh, uh, like this here m will be equals to 1 minus 0 0.0067 dr to the power 1.33 into g v by a to the power minus 0 0.75. What is d b d b is the called here uh, uh, bigger particle diameter this d r here in this case d r is defined as d b by d s. What is d b? d b is called bigger particle diameter where d s is called smaller particle diameter. Now, for d e r uh, if it is equal to 2 that means d r if d e r or effective uh, this uh, 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 bubble diameter ratio uh, sorry not bubble diameter this is called that uh, particle diameter ratio if it is uh, approximately equals to 2, then you will get that good mixing for m is greater than is equal to 0 0.9. Uh, whereas, uh, uh, when the visible bubble flow is g b by a, 
uh, uh, is uh, larger than about 0 0.094 meter per second, you can also observe that good mixing inside the fluidized bed. So, this mixing index will give you the how or what extent the uh, uh, mixing of solids inside the bed without doing any experiment by tracer particle or tracer techniques also here. So, uh, um, uh, another important uh, model that is uh, developed by Young and uh, 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 Kirin's uh, 1982. According to their model, uh, they have assumed that the particle segregation in a uh, fluidized bed uh, uh, can be uh, simulated by two perfectly mixed fluidized bed uh, in series with particle that will uh, interchange uh, between them during their uh, 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 flow upward or downward uh, movement in the fluidized bed. And that particle exchange uh, uh, that uh, will be actually occurred by the bubble wax from the bottom to the top fluidized bed and, 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 and by bulk solids flow in the reverse direction during the bubble flow inside the bed. And uh, they have uh, given that final equation uh, from their derivation uh, like this that L n uh, into V um, L into 1 minus C F W minus V J L by V L into 1 minus C F W uh, 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 minus V J L uh, 0 here in this case. So, here C F W is called the volumetric flotsam concentration that is fraction in the wake phase and F W is, uh, is nothing but uh, the uh, wake fraction and V L is called volume of solids in the fluid bed uh, um, um, excluding a volume of the solids uh, uh, excluding volume of the voids between particles and E w is called the voidage in the wake region of this fluidized bed. And if the bubble wake contains pure float sam particles then you can say that C f w will be equals to 0. Now, how to control uh, this solid movement? Uh, uh, staging is important one important uh, actually uh, 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 way to that control of solid movement inside the bed. When that reactant gas contacts a base of solids you will see uh, 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 in a fluidized bed uh, vertical staging of solids may have definite advantage because the gas may more closely approach uh, plug flow and a desirable temperature profile that can be uh, achieved in the reactor uh, uh, because of that uh, closely approached plug flow behavior inside the bed. And uh, uh, perforated plates are preferably, uh, uh, preferably actually uh, uh, suggested uh, uh, to get such uh, staging phenomena to control the uh, solid movement. And uh, there will be of course, the vigorous fluidization of the solids so when it will be operated at the first fluidization condition. So, that may lead to the freeboard carryover and the holes in the perforated plates in that case uh, you have uh, it will be uh, uh, designed in such way that should be large enough to allow the passage of solids there. Otherwise, solids will, uh, 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 will plug the holes uh, uh, from the uh, below and uh, uh, there will be actually clogging of that uh, particles uh, inside the uh, hole of the uh, distributor and which may actually affect the uh, fluidization phenomenon inside the bed. And uh, uh, when the large enough holes uh, will be actually designed or will be uh, given their solids are liable to leak from above also. So, thus one must be careful to match these two solids flow which uh, that are going up and downward through that holes. So, you have to optimize that uh, uh, design to control uh, the solids movements around the uh, distributor there. And consider two uh, stages of multi stage uh, fluidized bed as shown here in the figure 4. See here uh, in this case uh, uh, this is your part of perforated uh, distributor this through plate this uh, gas is coming uh, up and also also you will see there will be a solid movement to this hole. And uh, some uh, through the holes also some solids also will be uh, uh, coming downward there. So, there will be some entrainment of the solids to this uh, 
perforated uh, holes and some solids will be downward uh, uh, flow due to that that is leakage it is called leakage of that solids when it will be going downward there. So, uh, there will be a, uh, uh, a stage in such way that in a stage there will be a bubbling bed and the free board and from that free board to that upper stage of this fluidized bed through the uh, distributor hole the entrainment of the fine solids will be going upward whereas, some solids may go downward as a leakage there. So, when equilibrium is established when uh, in terms of the solid flow the down flow leakage rate if it is uh, G s down must just match this upward uh, free board entrainment rate there uh, in the fluidized bed. So, uh, in that case uh, you will see to get this equilibrium condition one another important uh, point to be uh, noted here that if is there any uh, interchange of the solid particles during this solid movement uh, 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 upward or downward is there or not. So, in that case the solid interchange rate also to be uh, concluded there. So, those the solid interchange rate per unit cross sectional area of the baffle plate uh, can be taken care of that. So, in that case G s up that means, uh, the solid flux to that up is equal to solid flux to the down that will be equal to I s into F open whereas, I s is called here the flux based on the open area of holes there through which that solid particles would be coming up and down there. And this uh, G s up is related to that entrainment rate of the solids from the ordinary fluidized bed having the same free board height of z f there that has already been discussed in the previous earlier lectures also there how the entrainment uh, uh, characteristics can be calculated by the model equation there. So, several model equations has been discussed there uh, in the earlier uh, uh, lectures uh, uh, for this entrainment rate. So, this that entrainment rate of uh, model can be applied here for this free board region where uh, those were uh, uh, those solids will be coming up as per this entrainment mechanism. Now, the most important parameters to influence this uh, upward movement of the solids uh, uh, are the free board height z f and the u and also you have to actually design that the staging um, operation in such a that that you have to give the enough space for that pre board there. And also the the down flow leakage of the solids that will increase with the with both the hole diameter and the fraction of the open area of the plate as per that given equation. And thicker plate sometimes results in less leakage and uh, also long down comer pipes at the baffle plates to reduce the down flow that has been suggested by that Kono and um, Huang 1984. Figure 5 here in this case uh, shows that uh, that uh, how change in the different variables will influence the interchange, interchange rate of solids between stages there. So, for different baffle spacing L you will see that the same free board height gives the same solid interchange and the high gas velocity uh, uh, must be matched with an increased free board whereas, the bigger uh, baffle opening uh, must be matched by the smaller baffle or free board. And the bed levels uh, must be adjusted uh, uh, adjusted to accommodate uh, changes in uh, uh, gas flow rate and the solid flow rate by this uh, equilibrium equation that is G s through that will be equals to G s down minus G s up. And in many uh, solid treatment you will see that uh, fluidized uh, uh, bed uh, uh, that is uh, a reduction of the metal ores or catalytic processes with rapidly deactivating catalyst it is highly desirable to have this uh, counter current contacting of the gas and solids as well as temperature gradients along the flow path of the reactants. So, in those cases the down flow of solids will be greater than the up flow. And this figure 6 shows that that uh, uh, how this uh, adjustment of the solid inventory to meet uh, changes in gas and solid uh, flows uh, the reasoning behind these changes is that the leakage of solids is close to constant for a given buffle plate. And, uh, but the entrainment is strongly dependent on that free board height above the dense bed also. Now, how to uh, calculate the minimum fluidization velocity 
uh, for a binary mixer. You will see that uh, this jetsam and flotsam mechanism or this segregation or mixing mechanism that depends on that uh, mixing of the uh, solids. Uh, uh, of course, uh, whether these uh, solids are in uh, uh, binary component mixer or single component mixer or not or even multi component mixer or not. You will see in that case you have to know what should be the minimum uh, fluidization velocity there and because of which that beyond this minimum fluidization velocity uh, then the segregation index uh, to be analyzed there. Now, the minimum fluidization velocity of a fluidized bed. Uh, with a uh, single component material that has already been actually discussed earlier, but for mixer of particles of different sizes or densities, uh, especially for those uh, 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 have highly segregating system, uh, in that case uh, the determination of the minimum fluidization velocity uh, are not uh, straightforward uh, that is uh, stated by the young 2003. So, that uh, you have to actually consider whether this perfectly mixed uh, uh, fluidization condition or not or completely segregated condition or not or partially it is segregated that solid particles or not. So, uh, based on which you will be able to calculate what will be the minimum fluidization velocity of a binary mixer there. Now, Gooseness et al 1971 they have given this model for calculating or estimating the minimum fluidization velocity for binary mixer as per their experimental the data. And they have developed this minimum fluidization velocity at this uh, uh, binary mixer condition as uh, like this here. In this case you will see that they have uh, taken uh, the uh, particle uh, density or fluid uh, you can say bulk density as average bulk density and also that um, uh, average uh, what is that uh, uh, particle density there. So, as per there uh, the average fluid particle is actually uh, calculated as 1 by rho p is equal to x f uh, by rho f plus 1 minus x f by uh, rho j here. So, in this case if there are there some float uh, jet and jet sum uh, float sum and jet sum particles are there of the mixture then uh, the uh, effective density of the fluid particle mixture inside the bed will be is equal to uh, that means uh, x a bar by uh, rho f bar plus 1 by x a bar. Here x a bar means here the mass fraction of the solid particles of those uh, uh, float same uh, uh, particles and uh, uh, rho j is called that uh, the density of the z sum particle and rho f is called the density of the float sum particles there and respective concentration of that z sum and float sum will be equal to x f uh, 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 j and x f uh, uh, f uh, for that z sum and float sum. And here the uh, effective uh, particle diameter of those mixer will be calculated as here r 0 by r uh, into d p f uh, into d p j. Here d p f is called the particle diameter of those particle of that float sum and d p j is called the particle diameter of those z sum uh, uh, particles there in the bed. Where this capital R uh, is uh, uh, defined as that uh, what should be the uh, uh, value of this uh, effective uh, what is that uh, 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 effective uh, particle uh, size based on their concentration of the uh, 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 jet sum and float sum particles there. So, it will be defined as 1 minus x f bar into rho f uh, d p f plus x f into rho j d p uh, uh, j here. So, r 0 will be equal to there if uh, uh, they are uh, only uh, this uh, uh, float sum and z sum particles are equals to uh, 1 there. So, it will be uh, like this, uh, this will be equal to r 0 there for this. So, uh, uh, you can calculate the uh, 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 minimum fluidization velocity for binary mixer of this uh, float sum and z sum particles by having their uh, mixer particle density of rho p bar uh, that is average uh, 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 particle uh, 
uh, uh, density and the mixture particle size as uh, uh, mean of particle uh, diameter of a binary mixer uh, from this equation here. And uh, Cheung et al 1974 uh, 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 they have also proposed an equation for binary systems with uh, particles of similar density and with particle size ratio uh, uh, when it is less than 3. The equation for that minimum fluidization velocity of the mixer uh, can be expressed as u m f m uh, that will be equal to u m f f into u m f j by u m f f to the power x j square here. So, u m f m m means here mean uh, 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 minimum uh, 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 fluidization uh, uh, velocity uh, for this mixer. Uh, that will be equal to u m f into f that means here minimum fluidization velocity if the fluidized bed is operated uh, with this flotsam particles only and also if uh, the minimum fluidization velocity is operated uh, under this jetsam particles. So, once you know this uh, uh, minimum fluidization velocity for that individual uh, uh, class particles of that jetsam and flotsam and uh, uh, from those values of this uh, jet sum and float sum uh, minimum fluidization velocity you can calculate the uh, minimum fluidization velocity for that mixer in the fluidized bed. Siva et al 1979 uh, they have also proposed uh, two equations to estimate the uh, mixer minimum fluidization velocity for a completely mixed bed and uh, the minimum uh, fluidization velocity for the solids for a totally segregated mixer there. By utilizing the argon equation they have developed this equation and the constant voyages assumptions uh, they have uh, taken there uh, and they proposed uh, the correlations to estimate this uh, UMFF that is mixer minimum fluidization for completely mixed binary system as this equation here. In this case also they have defined this uh, uh, mixer uh, particle density and the uh, what is that uh, effective particle diameter based on that uh, fraction of that non uh, 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 fraction of that uh, 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 that is called uh, uh, float sum and uh, jet sum particles there. And uh, this F B F is the volume fraction of the float sum is represented in this case here. If n f is the number of fraction of the float sum particles uh, and can be calculated here as by this equation. For a completely segregated uh, bed the following equation can be employed. And Ushida et al 1983 uh, they have developed the correlation or model uh, based on the modification of the equation given by Cheung et al 1974. They have substituted the volume fraction for the weight fraction in the original equation and uh, introduce, uh, uh, introduced the additional empirical constants that is uh, defined by m here and suggested uh, the uh, following equations to uh, calculate the minimum fluidization velocity for the binary mixture here. And this m is correlated with that uh, particle diameter of z sum and the float sum and also the uh, density of that float sum particle and z sub particles in the uh, bed. And this volume mean particle diameter rather than harmonic uh, uh, mean diameter actually should be used in this above equation they have suggested. And uh, for multi component mixer. Rao and uh, Neonau uh, 1975 they have given one uh, important correlation for uh, calculating the mixer minimum fluidization velocity inside the bed. So, as per their model this U m f m that means mixer fluidization velocity they are uh, it will be is equal to that here as per this equation given in this uh, slides. So, here one is the uh, important parameter is called n, n generally as per their experimental data is uh, equals to 1.053. Uh, this will be treated as an empirical value based on their experimental data. 
also it can be used to actually calculate the uh, for multi component binary mixer to calculate this minimum fluidization velocity. And Kumar and Shengupta 1974, they also suggested the minimum fluidization velocity from the uh, typical logarithmic plot of the bed pressure drop uh, and also the fluidizing velocity for single uh, and also binary, ternary and the quaternary component mixers there. And they found that the following simple empirical e uh, equation can be well fitted with the uh, experimental data and they have suggested these equations for prediction of that minimum fluidization velocity for those single binary, ternary and quaternary component mixer there by taking the harmonic mean of the particle diameter and arithmetic mean of the density of the particle of that mixer. So, uh, in this lecture we have then uh, actually learned something about uh, what would be the mixing and segregation uh, mechanism inside the fluidized bed and uh, how this mixing index and segregation index are interrelated and uh, how mixing index can be actually uh, uh, used as a tool uh, to uh, interpret the extent of mixing inside the bed for this uh, mixer solids in. And also uh, this float sum and z sum uh, parameters. Uh, that means, based on that they are density effective density of that mixer of z sum and float sum and the particle diameter of that uh, z sum and float sum mixer, how it actually uh, affects on the mixing and segregation phenomena inside the bed. Also, uh, it is seen that uh, that binary mixer when there will be uh, the mixer of the jet sum and float sum particles inside the bed, the minimum fluidization condition will be changing. It will not be exactly the same as for that when single particle, single uh, uh, particle will be in the uh, bed. So, uh, for multi component and binary uh, uh, component uh, uh, mixer, this uh, minimum fluidization velocity will be actually calculated before going to analyze that segregation and mixing index inside the bed. And in that case the uh, effective velocity of the fluidized bed will be based on that uh, minimum fluidization velocity of this float sum and z sum mix sum of the uh, fluidized bed. So, uh, we will uh, be discussing more about this particle mixing and segregation if uh, in case of uh, liquid solid uh, are there or, uh, uh, or for gas liquid solid system. Uh, uh, in the fluidized bed. So, this lecture only based on that only gas solid system, but uh, liquid solid and gas liquid solid system will be discussed in the next uh, lecture. And uh, for this uh, uh, segregation and mixing phenomena for this gas uh, solid fluidized bed, you can uh, go through uh, more literature for uh, getting more information even in more details uh, from these references. So, thank you.